pictures. Let's go over the charts real quick. Um, we had a big explosive day yesterday. This is our main chart. And had a nice little long here at 61 this morning. Right here, the fill was 61 on the 3 sim Rinko. Right there, when it touched the small MA, the 3 sim over here actually had an arrow long. And that was a beautiful setup as far as this one goes. We also had another long here at um, the live fill would have been just below 47, around 98. So another fill that you want to jump on with the overall trend chart would be right there at that level would be a nice one. But you had multiple entries this morning. Remember, the trend chart gives you multiple entries. Uh, same thing happened yesterday. Um, there are your entries this morning. Everything has been buy side setups this morning. We have had no sell side setups at all all the way since around right around three three four o'clock in the morning you have had one bias and it has been long side setups so if you notice you want to get in these areas these are the buy setups you want to take advantage of now we only have two setups that we look at on the three sim remember i have i have Two ways to time this. I've got the symmetry dots, which are, you'll see arrows fire right on the symmetry dots and a hard trend up. That's a retracement trade. And then I have momentum setups, which the arrows fire over here on the, you can see where they fired here. And here's a long, the first one that I was able to capture this morning. This is my 61 fill right there. 61 fill on that one. So, what we want to do is we want to look at only two types of entries. First, we want to find the trend. First thing we do, look at the trend chart. That's going to keep you on the right side of the market and so you don't get caught up with all these counter trend traders that try to catch these highs and lows. What we want to try to do is we want to buy high and sell higher all these trades one two three four five six seven in a row you bought high you sold higher if you look at all these arrows over here you bought high you sold higher or you covered higher you bought high on the three sim and you sold higher also so that, you gotta look at the trend chart that's the first thing you look at it's my main chart the reason it's so important it's a long it's a longer Rico chart but the trend filter is built into this Rinka bar. Market profile is no longer our first look at what we're doing. That's just added confluence. And that's a beautiful thing about the system. This works on all markets. It gets you on the right side of the market. If you concentrate just on a small time frame, let's say if you just concentrate on a three sim small time frame, you really can't get a feel for the trend because the MAs cross up, down, cross up, down. What you can do is when you're in a uptrend, and here was my 61 fill this morning, right there, you get, you can look for pullbacks. So you can try to buy pullbacks with Fibonacci error retracements on a small time frame. And here's a nice one. This last fill just happened a second ago. Real big move. Caught that low. Small stop. Really big move up. So you don't want to use a small time to gauge trend. You want to look for retracement. So that's one way we do it. The second way we do it when we're in a hard uptrend is we can use the, that's a three sim. We can use a five sim Rico that has the symmetry dots on it. And that will gauge when we want to buy higher lows on symmetry when it comes within a couple ticks. Here, here the arrows fired, here the arrows fired. So you can see what we're trying to do. We're trying to buy retracements. This is a retracement chart. That's one way we can do it. Or we can buy a momentum chart over here with the three sim Renko. So that's how you're going to time your entries. Wait for the arrow to pop up. Fire in the entry. Stop loss. Two ticks below the swing low. If you're buying, two ticks above the swing high. If you are selling. So. 
the easy way to approach this then is you really want to stay on the side of your trend chart right here. So if you don't stay on that side of the trend chart, you're really not going to put your in a uh, uh, um, you're not going to put yourself in a great position to win. And we want to make sure we do that. We always want to put ourselves in a position to win. Yesterday was the same way. Yesterday was such a big day of trading. But I want to show you something that I like to keep one bias. When I'm looking at these markets, I send out the chart, and I'll just put it in the video here for you to see. I'm always trying to stay on the side of that smaller MA with my trend chart because it's such a long time frame. So if you look at these setups yesterday, if I look when the market was marking these markets up, if I look at this chart setup, look at all. Now, these are all three SIM entries. This is a nine. This is my trend chart that we're looking at. So you can see the perspective of what I try to do. This is my trend chart. This is a nine SIM Rinko with three SIM entries. Look at all my three SIM entries. They were all above the nine SIM small MA. I'm trying to get long the market. I'm trying to let the runners run. Eight first target, 32 tick or 40 tick second target. Is over a $5,000 potential move yesterday just on uh, on six. Uh, well, I had six contracts running yesterday, but you got a lot of potential here if you just keep on the side of the small MA. So when they're marking the market up, I want to keep on the small MA. When they're marking the market down, look what I did. I'm keeping on this short because it had a short bias. I'm keeping on the side of the small MA. And when it changes back over, I get back in on the other side of the small MA. I want to shift my bias. This is the three SIM entries I'm trying to get in. This, I'm trying to show you how it matches up with the nine SIM. This is a nine SIM chart, but these are were all three SIM entries where I'm looking for pullbacks or five SIM entries where I'm looking for pullbacks with overall trend direction. So that that's one way you can do it. After you get done trading, a great way to do this, and I'm going to have a conference call on this, a great way to gauge if you are trading correctly, the great method, uh, the methodology that I'm trying to educate traders to look at. The best way to do it: put a nine sim up and look at your fills. Take a blank chart, which this is, a blank chart, and look at these fills. If you look at these fills, if they're on the side of the small MA, whether you do a five sim or three sim entry, if you're on the right side of the small of the the small MA on the nine sim, you're doing things correctly. If you are against this, on the small MA that we show you how to do it on the 9 SIM Rinko, that's one way to gauge that you're trading the markets incorrectly. Okay? That's one way you can gauge if you're doing this the wrong way. So you put a 9 SIM blank chart up after you're done trading. And just like right here, this is a buy, buy entry right now. This is a buy entry. This is on the side of what? It's on the side of the nine. So if you bought these entries right here, see how it turned red? And there's your positive green. Whoops. This all the way. See how that's an entry right there? That's an entry. Opposite color, red, shows what? It shows counter trend traders coming in. Take the first dip. There's your arrow. There's your long. Two ticks within symmetry. There's your where arrow closes, there's your long. It worked again. So look at all these buy setups when it closed opposite color. Opposite color red, counter trend traders are coming in. We're only position traders, first dip, work. Opposite color red, first dip, work. Touches a small MA, three sim fired, work. Three sim fire, work, touch a small MA. Three sim fire, just happened right now, over here, three sim, look at this. Right there, just fired. Touching the small MA, give you good retracement, got a nice pop in the market. So you want to use the trend chart to guide you for your entries. So now, if you look at our entries so far, since 4 o'clock this morning, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you have 8 entries that are up, and we had no short setups at all. And that's going to help you gauge it. And like I said, what you can do, and it's the best way to do it, 
pull up a nine sim Rinko at the end of the day on a blank chart. Put your small MA. This is how I gauge my trading. I'm going to have a conference call on this. This is how I want to make sure I'm doing the right things in the market. If I'm reading the markets the right way, if I'm staying on the side of the trend, I'll put my small MA only, only my small MA. I'll put it up on my 9 sim Renko, and all my entries should be with that 9 sim trend. If they are not, that is a wrong trade according to how I'm trying to educate traders how to uh, look at these markets. You should always be on the right side. As long as you're on the right side of the, of the small MA off the 9 sim, you are doing things the right way. It's a really good technique, and I'm going to be going over this in conference calls that I like to use to gauge my trading. And it helps, it helps traders recognize if they're on the right side of the market or if they're on the right side of the market. It's a really, really neat way how we can all benefit from, um, from making sure we're doing the right things. But look at, the, look at the trend charts. That's what you do. Look at the trend. You don't have to be above all three MAs, but when you are, you're in the hottest part of the market. You've got to make sure you're at least above the small MA. This is the hottest part of the market, just like yesterday. If I look at yesterday, I'm in the hottest part of the market. Look at that. I'm above all three. This is where it caught the rolling position traders. You're above all three MAs. First color red, that's the dip you look for. Look for the buy. First color red, look for the dip. That's your buy. First color red, look at the dip, first green right there, reversal, that's your buy. So you can see, you can catch these on the way up. We have them three symmetries on the way up also. So look at the trend chart. Then once you look at the trend chart, number two, if you've got your bias, only two ways to buy. Look for a retracement trade off the five sim, the symmetry dots, Or three, look for entry off, which I do a lot. A lot of my setups are off the three sim. I like small stops. Three sim, look for arrows, for fib arrows to fire. Now, what I like to do is a lot of traders ask this, how can you in the market? I'm putting two ticks above the swing high on the arrow or three ticks. You can go two or three ticks above the swing. If you don't want to do market orders, you do limit orders. Two to three ticks, you can manually program that in when you hit the button as a limit order. You get a lot of good fills with two or three ticks above or below the arrow if you want to do limit orders. Okay, a lot of one tick can move too fast on you and you're not going to get filled sometimes. But a lot of trades happen between two and three ticks. It's up to you. That is the only way that you want to look at the markets right there in 2019. Look at the trend chart. Stay on the side of the trend. For entries, retrace them off the five sim with the fib arrows. Here we go. We've had one, two, three, four of them in a row. That's called a retracement trade. When the opposite color arrow comes in, a red arrow, a red bar, that means we're catching counter trend traders. You're looking for a deep retracement. That's how you're going to time your trade here. That's one way to trade. Or we're going to time our trade with what? With the fib arrows over here off the three cent. Try to get long the market off these three. So here's another one right there. When it's retracing back to the small MA. Okay. Now, we do have a break retest trade we like to look at on the sim dots. That's where you break retest, had it here at just after 7 o'clock. That's at 30 trade. But that's the best way to do it. It happened on gold just on that last setup, too. That's a gold long at 12.08 or 12.08 and 12.08 uh, was a life fill. 12.08.30 long is gold. That's a breakout of symmetry retest as a gold trade, too. But that's how you want to look at the markets.